Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean out the trap on this washing machine by Maytag and that is going to solve my error code message. Here's the error code I've been having. So this is EO1 FO9 error code. So that error code means that something's wrong with the draining system. So it could mean that either the trap that is, and it's kind of like a filter, I'll show you that in a second. It can mean that that is clogged up and hopefully that's the problem because we were just gonna clean it up, take our gunk out of it, and then put it back together and everything should work fine. Or it could mean that we need to replace the pump. So let's cross our fingers that that trap is nice and dirty. We'll clean it out and see if we can fix this thing. So first things first, I'm actually gonna unplug the unit. I have my washer and dryer both here and they're kind of tight. I'm gonna unplug both of them. That way I just make absolutely sure that I get it unplugged. Also, I should be able to perform this keeping the cold and hot water supply intact. These are a little bit long on mine, so you may end up having to remove these. But um, for me, I'm going to be able to get away with not having to do it. Of course, I'm going to remove this drain right here and make sure there's going to be water coming out. So make sure that when you get started here, have a couple buckets, a kind of shallow bowl, and a bunch of rags, towels, some stuff like that. All right, let's dive right in. To access the back drain, we're going to want to take this back panel off. So all of these are quarter inch uh, bits. So one, two, three. They'll work with a Phillips screwdriver too. I'm going to use a drill like this one right here with a quarter inch bit. It makes it so much faster and easier. Anyway, there's about a dozen of them that go all the way around. And then don't forget there's one right here in the middle. you got to get that one out as well. Okay, this is the trap right here, and I'm gonna put my hand in from the right hand side, and I'm going to turn this about two and a half turns uh, counterclockwise. Now, it's hard for me to get the camera and my hand in here, so I'm not gonna be able to show you it, but I'm gonna turn that counterclockwise. Here's what it looks like when it comes out. Now, as I'm turning that and unscrewing it, water is gonna be coming out of there. So what I'm gonna do is let some of the water out, and then I can plug that back up, right? Screw it back in, and then I can dump that water out of that bowl into a larger bucket, and I can keep doing that until there's no more water coming out. You might have a little bit of water, but if your machine is full of water and it wasn't draining at all, you might have to do this several times to get all the water out. Okay, so I went ahead and I loosened this right here, and it's kind of pulled out a little bit but I wanted you to see what's in this trap. Holy mackinole. So I kind of started to pull it out and pushed it back in and here we go. So this is the trap that is designed to catch, well, all this kind of stuff. Let's take a closer look. Oh my gross. Yes, this is gross. Yes, there's a lot in here. Yes, this is definitely clogging it up. But the good news is, and I'm so happy, this is the problem. So once I clean this up and get all this nonsense, look at that, there's water balloon pieces in here. Oh my gosh, what is what is this? What is this? I, I don't even know what that is, but clearly that is clogging it up. That's what was throwing that error code. So I'll clean this up and let's put it back together and see if it works. Okay, so I've cleaned up the trap here. It's ready to go. And just to show you again, this is all the stuff. I don't know how this thing right here, whatever this is, made it through this far, but it did. And here's some more nonsense water balloons, rubber bands. Just, I don't even know what else. It amazes me that it made it that far. The trap did what it was supposed to do. I'm so happy. I thought maybe this machine was broken, broken, and I had to get a new one or a new pump or whatever. But we'll put this back together and I'm confident that this is gonna solve the problem. Okay, when you put it back in, it's gotta go just like this, right? Just like this. It should just slide in nice and easy. Might take a little bit of fidgeting around with. And then we'll get this nice and tight. Okay, as I'm tightening, you can see this piece of plastic, this little piece sticking up right here, it needs to make it all the way until it makes contact with this plastic right here. So right up against it, see how these two came together to hit? So now I know it's as far as it goes. In other words, it's as tight as it goes. That way I won't have a leak. All right, let's put it back together and try it out. Success, it's up and working, yes! 
All right, listen, I'm gonna finish it up with a couple tips and tricks. Are you ready? Number one, make sure when you work on your appliance, unplug it, double check that you have the power turned off to it. Secondly, what I'm gonna do is put some of these water alarms like this one right here. I'm gonna test it and show you what it sounds like in just a second. I'm gonna get this little water alarm and I'm gonna put a couple of them and I'm gonna put them kind of underneath this. So if there's any way that um, there's a leak in here, I'll make sure that I'll know about it right away. You wanna test this thing out? Check it out. I got a bowl of water, we'll stick it in there real quick. Super loud. So these little prongs on the back, you see those little four prongs on each corner? And when they detect water, that's what it sounds like. If you look in the description down below, I'll put a link to these water alarms. I have a whole bunch of these, by the way. All of my appliances that have water attached to them, from the refrigerator, washing machine, dishwasher, put them under there, um, under the sinks, whether it's the kitchen sink, or the vanities in the bathrooms, even under this little sink right here. And I'll tell you, they have saved me a couple times, but they have saved me in such a big way. Hey friends, I hope you appreciated this video. If it helped you out, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Bye for now.